Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're joining me, I'm so glad you're here. My returning subscribers, moi, and if you're new to my channel, I hope you will like and subscribe so that you won't miss this mug every Wednesday and Saturday. All right, having said that, let's get on to the tutorial. Concealers. And you're saying, really? Hasn't that horse been beaten to death? Well, it hasn't. <laughs> I have watched tons of them, and I've pulled my favorite parts of them and put them into a routine that has worked wonders with me. And I have, you know, this orbital bone that protrudes, deep set eyes. I have the challenge, look at that, dark circles under there. And without caking it on, I have found a way to make it work. So we're going to talk about hydration inside and out. Make sure you're drinking lots of water. If you need, add some electrolytes. It doesn't hurt even in the winter. And then on the outside, excellent skin care for the winter time. And I'm going to be doing an in-depth tutorial on that coming soon to a theater near you. And so I, at night, I'm using my wonderful new Cetaphil uh, Under Eye Hydrating Serum. And I put that on at night and then I seal it in with Vaseline. I make sure I pat it first and then put the Vaseline on, just a thin layer, and it just, it works wonders into to keeping your eyes hydrated. And then the morning, I'll use this by itself and then my serum sunscreen that I use by Neutrogena, I will pat, 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 pat. Just keep patting, pat it, and let it soak in and let it dry. I'd say at least five minutes before you go on. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this Wet n Wild primer. It's very, very hydrating. You wouldn't want to use a uh, silicone under your eyes. I don't know. That's just what I heard. Makes sense. It'd be kind of thick. and We don't want thick. We just want added more hydration. So I'm going to pat oh, just a tiny bit. This is very liquidy. As I said, you do not need much. So pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, 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 pat. pat. Don't drag. Pat. Okay. Now we're going to let that set in. So in the meantime, I will tell you a little bit about what's happening here. Now, because I have such dark circles, if I just use concealer, I can still see the gray. So it's important to use a color corrector, depending on the color. Now I use, I have one that I bought a long time ago by Tarte, and this is in light medium, kind of a peachy, peachy color. And then I'm going to use on the other eye, my e.l.f. This is a highlighter and a color corrector. And it's more of a yellowy color. But we're going to try that. And that is going to be put on with a tiny baby brush like a so. This is a lip brush from Sephora. So that will help get it just where you need it because less is more. Let's see if I'm set up. Then your next step is concealer. And I have a lot of concealers to show you. My Tarte. And I'm just dipping it in, ladies. Dip, 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 dip. And I'm going to put it for me darkness only. So I start in the inner corner and I have, I go around my orbital bone because I really have to work at getting this placed correctly. And this little brush is great. I like to take my finger, warm it up, very easy, and pat. Pat, 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 again. You don't want to drag, you want to push it into your skin. And that's what I'm doing first, is I'm pressing it in and checking. If I need more, just a little bit at a time. Because we are going to add concealer, but we want to do shadow this as much as possible. It's very, very important, ladies. Depending on the color and where it is, only go down as far as your color. Okay. Now I'm going to clean that brush off and I'm going to take the e.l.f. on the left side and see. Now this is more, see that is more orangey yellow than the others, than the uh, tart. Okay. I mean some, some women that have them really dark have to use that salmon color. Yeah, I tried that before and that showed up. So you've got to go by your skin tone. So I need more in here, I feel. So I will take a little more of the e.l.f. on this side, right in that spot right there. 
And remember, we're going to add concealer, so we don't want to overdo. And I have my little fat pockets there, too. That's why the under eye, that's another thing I forgot to mention, those under eye pads every morning are, are just, have really, really been helping my, I, I, you can't get rid of it, it's, it's fat. It's not, you can't diet it off. So you just want to, you want to highlight it, you want to put the color corrector underneath it and the concealer underneath it. We don't want to exasperate it. We don't want exterior illumination there. Okay. Oh, and I also take my little damp sponge. And this helps get off any excess. Don't rub. Again, just pat. I'm not sure I can really tell a difference between the uh, between Tarte and Elf. My number one fan has been this uh, Lancome Fondi Tint. This color is in buff. I think it might be, for my makeup, it might be a little too darkening, meaning it won't whap, it won't match my makeup. So I won't be using this today because I think it's just a little bit too dark. My other favorite, of course, you know, is NYX uh, CW02. It's nice and light, very pretty. This is wonderful. This is by Selena Gomez, Rare Beauty, and it's a light, brightening, very airy. I think I will do this one on one side, and then I'm going to use my NYX on the other. Let's try that and see. One high end versus that. One of my Jessup brushes, very tiny, and I'm going to touch it on the doe foot. Because again, okay, so this is a CW02. And then I have a really nice brush is by Beauty For Real. It doesn't have a number on it, but I know it's because it's tapered like that. It's for concealer. So I am going to dab with that first to get it placed, to get it pushed in. Take my little sponge and make sure I've set it in. I'm pushing it in. I find that I, I, I do a little bit at a time. It takes me longer because I have so much more darkness to, to try to cover. I have to keep working where less is more for me because then it will get cakey. You know, it will set into your wrinkles. So I get one eye. I get one eye as best as I can. And then I will go immediately to the powder. And I'm using this Laura Mercier Light Brightener Under Eye Powder. So I dip it in. Roll it around. Roll, roll, roll in decay. Make sure you get up all that excess. And then I'm going to pat. I'm going to push. But I'm not going to drag. This, if you skip this step, you're going to have, it will set into your fine lines and wrinkles. And you don't want to wait uh, between, you don't want to put the concealer on, go about and do a bunch of business because then it will set in there. You want to do it all at once. I'm doing one eye at a time. Okay. Light hand. So I'm going in with a Rare Beauty by Selena, and I am going to, ooh, see, I should have just put it on the brush. So you always want to put your doe foot on here so that you get just the right amount on your little brush, and just a little bit, a little bit. It's quite a thing to do, you know. I, I didn't have to do this stuff when I was younger because my orbital bone didn't stick out like that. Now I take my sponge. I'm going to go ahead and use the illuminating powder. All right, let's put it in here. Again, swirl.
Okay, there it is, ladies. What do you think? I hope this tutorial helped you, even if your eyes are not deep set. The, the concept is the same, to hydrate, put on color corrector if needed, and then a very hydrating a concealer and very, very easy, very tiny steps. Just take your time. And then once you've got it down, it will go faster because you'll know exactly how much you need. You'll, you'll just know. Okay, my ladies, I hope you have a blessed rest of your day and that the five days left till Christmas, you're just able to relax. Enjoy family gatherings and parties and church and just whatever it is that gets you back to your calmness before the holidays hit. All right, my ladies, thank you and God bless you.